this is the hundredth episode I've posted on YouTube. So how open Noob. So what we've got here today is the hair. Hair? It's the H A I E R seven inch digital L C D TV. Is that hair? 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 Well, I don't know. Anyway, this thing is down to $44 on Amazon and on eBay. So you can pick this up for pretty cheap. So let's test it out on a DSLR and see how well it works for a dirt cheap monitor. So what I have right here is the Lilliput monitor that I normally use and this hair seven inch monitor that I just picked up for $44. Put these two together and you'll notice that the hair is slightly smaller than the Lilliput monitor and it's thinner. You also don't have to attach the battery to the back because this has a built-in battery in it. The Lilliput monitor has higher resolution, but it also costs a lot more money. This also has a built-in headphone amplifier, which will come in handy in a second when I show you some more information on it. The batteries on this monitor are pretty small. It's a 1500 milliamp hour battery. I was able to get about two hours and 10 minutes out of it. Unfortunately, replacement batteries are about $20, which is half the price of the dang monitor. But you'll probably wanna have one if you're gonna use this on a regular basis because two hours probably won't last you long enough for a full shoot. Let's go ahead and turn this monitor on. And right now I've got it in normal mode. So if you hit menu and you scroll over here, and then you use the channel down button and go to normal and you set this to widescreen, then the monitor uses the entire screen for viewing, which is kind of a nice option. And if you look here at the top, you'll notice that a little bit of the magic lantern volume bar gets cut off, but the edge of the actual viewing screen starts right here, down here in this dark area, and none of that actually gets cut off. So it's still pretty handy. If we go ahead and hit record right here, you'll see the audio levels up on top. You've got volume level up and down right here. And basically anything that's coming in through these red and white leads is amplified and sent back out through the headphone jack. So you get full audio monitoring when you're using Magic Lantern firmware. You don't get a lot of color options in here. Basically you have normal, you have warm, cool, and back to normal again. That's pretty much all you get for color options. And of course you can change the brightness on this, but when you change the brightness, of course, the screen kind of washes out a little bit, which, you know, isn't very handy at all. I found that 50 to 60% was about the usable range before it really started to look terrible. This seven inch monitor has built in headphone amplifier along with volume controls on the front so you can adjust the volume on the headphone output. On top of that, it has a kickstand which I don't really know what you need it for for video filming, but it's kind of interesting to have. This thing, as you can see, is fairly thin, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's much lighter than what Amazon had mentioned on their article when I ordered this. This is not three pounds. This is more like three quarters of a pound or so. It's, it's not very heavy at all. And the battery's pretty small, so it doesn't take up a lot of weight or add a lot of weight to the unit. The other thing to remember is that this has a widescreen setting, so you can fill up the entire screen as opposed to just a block down the center, which is kind of nice. It maximizes the full resolution of the screen. The color and contrast out of this little guy isn't anything to write home about, but it's good enough to set up your shot and use for framing. It doesn't put out a lot of light, so if you're shooting in direct sunlight, I would definitely put some kind of hood over the top of this or something like that so you can actually see the monitor. If you're trying to set your exposure or your white balance, use the meters on your camera. Don't trust this guy. If you look on the side, you'll notice that you've got the very familiar yellow, white, and red inputs. That's two audio and one video. So you can run the audio into here and then use the headphone amplifier on this guy so that you can monitor the audio out of the camera. One thing to note is that the threads at the bottom of this thing on the little tapped hole here aren't quite a quarter 20. I actually had to run a tap down into it in order to clean the threads out so I could get my regular quarter 20 hardware in there. Be careful if you're doing that because if you booger the threads, that's all you've got to really mount this guy. I don't think this monitor is gonna change the world, but for the price, you get a surprisingly thin and light package with a built-in battery, headphone amplifier with volume control, plus you got that wide screen mode so you can use up all the real estate on the screen. To top that off, you got a pseudo quarter 20 hole on the bottom so you can mount this to your rig. On the downside, the batteries are 20 bucks, so it's a little bit expensive. The color and brightness of this aren't great, but it's only $44, so what do you expect? I'll have links to information on this monitor and where you can pick it up in the crotch bar below, along with a full written review over at dslrfilmnoob.com. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe. Oh.